Hey guys, Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the finale of season three of Attack on Titan. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Seriously? And then one of the people outside of the wall is just like, 
hate everyone for what the king did. Mm. Mm. And then we'll usually do that. That's fine. Yeah, but then having people like that walk away. You can't always do that. the Quintus.
Of course it does. See, you're just asking to get your ass beat. No, I don't mean. Don't say that. I don't know until you try. There it is. Who knows what the fuck is out there? Except for a time like that, he would get nervous. And don't. Aaron.
happen now. So, like, a couple of months. Honestly, that doesn't even look like him, but that is him. Hopefully. I wouldn't do. glasses on you. Mm -hmm. The ocean. They have to think they had to try that fucking far. You see a crab? <laughs>
Honestly, I just need to make both. Damn, that was good. But just, uh, I have so many questions. I really thought they would have, like, at least shown more people in the enemy group. But, you know, of course, we're not going to know until next fucking year. And who knows how many episodes are going to be in this final season. But my biggest question is, since next season is the final season, how close are they? Or, no. How, number one, how close are they to the manga to being over? And how, how many chapters is it before the manga is almost over? Because I did hear, I think about a couple of months ago, that it was very close to being over. And what I'm not 100% sure because I saw it on Facebook. And usually not everything on Facebook is fucking accurate and such. But, I mean, this was a really just heartwarming, sad episode to just not really have a lot of action in it. I'm really happy that it didn't. It's just continuing and just calming. But we know there's this big enemy and big storm is coming towards them or they're going to go straight for it. But I mean, honestly, it was a really good season. I've always personally loved season one as my favorite season, but I think this one's my favorite, even though it took several months to see the second half of this show, but still, I enjoyed it. It was really good. Okay, nothing else. Okay, that that's fine. I thought it would at least have something else, but no. I, I'm just hoping that, like, also next year when this last season comes out and when we get to the final episode, because who knows how many episodes this show is going to have, I feel like they could do it one of two ways. They could do the first 12 episodes for the first half of fall 2020, and then the second half can come out in, like, spring or summer or fall 2021, but... I, I'm just hoping that it can tie everything that we've seen in the first three seasons all together and then don't give me a bullshit ending. I, I just, I want an ending that, like, you could do an ending where it's, like, an open ending and I'd be totally fine with that. But I don't want to, like, be like, I see the last episode of this series and be like, oh, yeah, that was a good ending. And then several months down the line, I'm talking to someone about it and then, um said person or myself kind of regret saying oh I think that was a good ending I think this ending was like this so I mean I don't think it'll get a bullshit ending I think it'll be a ending that everyone will personally be satisfied by but I mean I don't know y'all freaking know because y'all read the damn manga and I don't know shit so I, I mean anything could happen and do I feel like more characters might die in this last season no honestly because I mean, there's like 10 of them left, 10, 15, not a lot. I mean, there's not a lot of them left, so why kill them all? I mean, there were points 
between last week's episode and this week's episode, I I always sat and thought, like, um, because of the fact is Aaron only has eight years until he supposedly has to be eaten by someone else who becomes the attack titan. If they end it with him getting eaten with some, by somebody else, I think that'll be fine to the point where um, whoever does eat him has everything from beginning to end, all four seasons all together, and wrap it up in a nice, tight-knit bow, and then I would be fine with that. But I, like I said, I think this season is my favorite season. I mean, as much as I loved one and as much as I loved two, even though two was the shortest season of the bunch, um... I really did enjoy this season, in my opinion. It had some ups and some downs. Um, it is sad to see characters who I truly, really loved, especially Erwin. Like, I loved him so much. But to have him die, and I know a lot of people told me that eventually, because it kind of started with this episode, we're going to see how a lot of people are really biased of the fact that, yes, Ademine was the chosen one to be alive, and we're going to see the consequences eventually when season four does come out next year of what could have possibly happened if Erwin was still alive. And, you know, if they ever decided to do, Lotha decided, like, hey, I want to do a spinoff. And if they ever decided to say, hey, let me do something to show you what it would have been like if Erwin was alive and Adamine was dead, I think that would be interesting because I think a lot of people will want to know. I know I would, but if he didn't do it, I'd be okay with it. But, like I said, it was a really good season. Very good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards, really, the series, uh, I mean, not even the series, season three of Attack on Titan. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all fall next year for the final season of Attack on Titan. Bye, guys.